This is a national nature reserve, one of more than a hundred in Britain. And each one's unique. This one, because of this. That's nine feet. Try another nine feet on this. This one's called Chartley Moss, uh, and it's near Stafford. So that's nine and another 18. It's a floating, wrong end, or quaking bog, known technically as a schwigmore, because it schwigs if I jump up and down. This is 27 feet going on. Quite easy. Just like that. 27 and another nine is 36. If this one will go down. I'm supposed now to be in water. The bottom of it's in water because I'm standing on a raft of this moss. Oh, I'm getting near the bottom. No, still going easily, 36. And another nine is uh, 45 feet. Ooh. That one won't go in. Try another one. That's better. That's 36 already gone. Oh, going easily now. Still in water. 45, and I think that that is very nearly it. One more. Nine onto 45, this will be 54, and it's supposed to be 50 feet deep. It's more. Of these 50 or more feet, about 10 feet consists of this floating raft of vegetation. And under that is 40 feet of water. And yet trees, and quite big ones, seem to flourish on it. It's really a floating forest, and a forest which trembles when man approaches. It's the biggest and deepest bog in Britain, and it's now preserved for all time by the Nature Conservancy, whose deputy area officer is Mr Oswald. Well, it was formed after the Ice Age, more than 10,000 years ago, um, as a lake. Uh, probably a large lump of ice was left in the sand and gravel after the glaciers had gone, and uh, as a result, a lake formed in this place in the glacial drift. Has anybody ever sort of sunk in, completely disappeared in this? It's, it seems a very dangerous place, really. <laughs> well, uh, we don't know the name of any individual who's actually gone down, but um, there is another moss rather similar to this one at Winbury in South Cheshire, and there there are definite um, statements that Mr Schoen, for example, lost two ponies in the moss. They went right down and were never seen again. What sort of animals live in, a, in a circumstances like this? Animals now living in it, you mean? Yes. Um, in this particular one, there are a great many foxes. Uh, foxes? Yes, you hardly have to go any distance. I don't think we have one round here to see droppings of foxes. Um, you can find them probably every seven or eight yards. And uh, quite a lot of birds um, uh, live among the trees here, in the pine trees. Uh, and, of course, there will be smaller animals, insects, and uh, unusual, quite unusual animals. Um, peculiar spiders, for example, occur in these mosses. There's one found in Winbury Moss, which is not otherwise known in Britain. Quakes, doesn't it? Quite yes, a bit, yes. Yes, oh, yes. We've got quite a, quite a swing. You can see the... the uh, <laughs> it's like a diving board. The cotton grass here, you see, going up and down. 
It's a rather exhilarating feeling bouncing about on 10 feet of moss and then about 40 feet of water. Rather like just bouncing about on one of those beautifully sprung mattresses. 